Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about the Fellow Slack app. It's a really powerful app. If you use Slack, you really want to make sure that you install it. So let's dive right in. So this is the uh, Fellow uh, Test Slack. And so you'll notice that I'm currently in the general channel and it looks like David Graham just messaged the general channel saying, what is the best way to implement optimization strategy for the upcoming topics, targets? And so in this particular case, that's a really interesting topic and I wanna talk about it in a much more deeper way. I don't have the time right now to go back and forth on Slack and we're just about to meet. We have our one-on-one -on -one coming up in uh, in basically two hours. So I'm just going to go here, click on the triple dot menu, and I'm going to say add to my one-on-one. -on -one. And if I do that, this is gonna be thrown into Fellow in our upcoming one-on-one -on -one as an agenda topic. So this way we're gonna talk about it and we can go deeper. The other thing you can do, of course, is add this to meeting notes. So in this particular case, David and I are both part of this marketing team and this is something we should really talk about our upcoming mar marketing meeting, which actually happens in two days. So by using this option, I can actually put this as an agenda topic for that meeting so we could talk about it then. So one thing is that you might not see these options right away uh, when you click on the triple dot menu. So you might actually have to click on more messages and then search for fellow to see that um, in, in your list. And then there's a bunch of other things that we do, for example, add to private streams. So again, there are other functions that you could use uh, in the same way, so make sure to check those out. The other thing I wanted to show you today is if you go to your fellow bot, uh, there's a lot of things that the fellow bot does. You'll probably first end up on the home page. And when you do, this is a custom experience that we've created that makes it really easy for you to dive into the right things uh, very quickly. So the first thing is that you'll notice that my meetings are all there. So if I wanted to go to my weekly security meeting agenda right away, I could click on this and the fellow will open that for me. I can see there's already four talking points and it was when it was last updated and I can just jump in and collaborate on that meeting. So. The other thing is these quick actions. So the quick actions, for example, if you want to ask for feedback, we make it really, really simple for you to do this. Uh, what are you asking for feedback about? You know, say if you said a recent meeting as an example, it'll allow you to choose the meeting and then go from there. So all those functions in terms of feedback are built right into Fellow. And in a second, I'll show you how you can actually even respond to feedback right from within Fellow as well. We make it all very, very accessible. So if you click on messages though, you'll notice that Fellow will send you messages from time to time. And I will show you how you can change those notifications just in case you wanted to tune the way uh, it sends you messages or what it actually sends to you. But one of the things that it will send you is a list of action items just to make sure you're on top of things, you know, make sure that overdue items are, are not missed. And so these are the new action items I got yesterday. So it sent it to me this morning. It will also send you messages, for example, uh, on meetings that are coming up, or it'll no notify you right before you're going into a one-on-one. -on -one. And it does a bunch of other things as well. So if you do have a one-on-one, -on -one, it'll actually message you, and you can actually prep for that one-on-one -on -one right before the meeting, all without ever leaving Slack. Very, very powerful. But let's show you uh, another cool function here. So this is a meeting that I have uh, with Armin. Say that I start typing uh, some things here. Uh, talk about Project X as an example, right? Now, if I click on Send Notes, I have a few options, but one of them is Send by Slack. And say what I want to do in this particular scenario is I just want to send it to myself in this case, uh, just to show you. But I can obviously send this to any channel uh, or any person on Slack. But I'm going to send it to myself just so that I can show you what that looks like. Uh, so if I, if I do that, you'll see that it shows up here. And then I have the ability to add further topics. So I also wanna talk about why. And now I'm gonna press add. 
And basically, if I go back into my interface, you'll see talk about why it gets added. And of course, the Slack interface will also update and it'll show up here. This is really powerful, ladies and gentlemen. And, and the reason is that imagine you have a group meeting, say that marketing meeting we were talking about. You send the agenda in advance in a Slack channel related to that marketing event and it gets auto-populated with all the things and all of your team they can just update the agenda in real time without ever leaving Slack. This is very, very powerful. A lot of people spend a lot of their day in tools like Slack and Fellow just makes it really easy for you to do all the great things that Fellow empowers and, and do them through Slack. I'll show you one more thing, which is uh, on the feedback side. So say I create a feedback request and in this particular case, I'm going to ask about something else. And I want to ask about Project X, which I have asked about before, actually. And who am I going to ask? I'm actually going to ask myself in this case, again, because I want to show you what it looks like when I get this request. Um, and I'm just going to say, write Project X. And what is the question I'm going to ask? It's going to be a really, really simple star rating. Uh, and I'm going to say, rate it from one to five and I'm going to press preview and send send this and so now this request has been sent and, and of course I, I should be getting this right on fellow and it should show up in a, a few seconds and when it does uh, we'll take a look at it but uh, it, it does take a minute or two so if you are trying this uh, you might want to wait a minute or two for it to show up uh, but while that shows up, what I'm going to do is also show you one quick thing uh, around the notification settings that are in Fellow. So if I go to my notification area, I can go uh, under user settings and there is a notification section over here. And so this allows you to make some changes, for example, to the Slack digest when you want to get it and what's included. So you can actually go and take a look at those things as well. So going back to Slack, you'll see that the, uh, the feedback request actually did show up. So I can answer on the web, right? Or if I have the fellow mobile app, it'll show up there. But I just wanted to show you that you can also reply to these things on Slack. And there you have it. It shows up here, three stars, and then I can press send. So that's uh, what the Slack app can do. There's a lot more that it can do and there's a lot of nuance, but I really want to give you folks a, a nice overview of all the things that you can do. It basically mimics a lot of fellow functionality and makes it accessible in Slack. I personally, and you know, at Fellow, we love specifically getting agendas sent to group channels uh, where, you know, say the marketing channel will basically get a uh, agenda in advance and everybody can populate it right there. I think things like that are super powerful and it'll really change your workflow and help uh, everybody come into meetings prepared. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video.